Let's see if this is working or not. I think it is. Okay, let me make a quick video here. <laughs> I needed some motivation. <laughs> and they're giving... This game is going too fast. Okay, so... Anyway, Tommy LaStella hits the home run. We're down. Altuve crushes one, as LCS Clip said. And then um, Brantley gets a single. And then... Uh, sorry, it's happening so fast. Brantley gets a single. Then... Uh, then Bregman gets a single, and then and then uh, Correa hits it, I think, to the shortstop of the third baseman, and it doesn't turn into a double play. So we're winning 2-1 to one right now, and it's pretty crazy. I want to say a couple other things because I want you guys to get back to the game, but if you guys are still watching ESPN, you're crazy. Okay, ESPN is a complete joke. It is a complete joke. It is so biased. If you know some of the nefarious acts that they're pulling, they're literally doing things to take away MLB fans. They're they're kind of a they have these like I said these nefarious reasons for the way they promote sports and stuff like that. It's very agenda based. Anyway, if you watch it, just read into it. If you know, it's still kind of useful as far as like uh, some of their. Uh, the when they have a game that they need they're showing or something like that but as far as their political news and all that it's just absolutely horrible i just wanted to shout that out real quick to you guys also uh a couple other cool things is okay the best catcher in baseball travis darno hits another home run today which is amazing oh kyle tucker just popped up um as far as uh let's say we do beat the ace today not getting ahead of myself but let's say we do beat the ace and Tampa Bay figures out a way to take out the Yankees. I think uh, when it comes to Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, they're not quite as good as us behind at the bat. But overall, they've got the relievers. They've got the starters. Um, let me just give you some names. Uh, Randy Arrazarena on fire right now. Manuel Margot's on fire right now. Uh, Kevin Kiermeyer looks good. He, uh, he he looked good regular season against the Yankees. Um, let's see who else looks really good. Mike Zanino looks good right now. Tyler Glasnow looks great. Blake Snell doesn't look quite himself. Um, uh, Peter Fairbanks looks okay. He's got some nice heat. Uh, let's see. Austin Meadows looks really good. He was DH, I think, yesterday. Um, in the infield, Brandon Lau looks incredible. G-Man Choi looks incredible. So no matter who we get after after today's game, let's say we do win. We might lose, but let's say we do win. You know, it's going to be the toughest road we've ever had because we're either going to get the Yankees, and I prefer actually to get the Yankees. The, the problem with the Astros is that we have a bunch of like 18-year-olds <laughs> pitching for us, so it's it's unstable. But as far as our lineup, Correa's going off. Altuve's starting to warm up hot the last few days. Springer has Springer has done almost something I've never seen, the way he's got six hits in two days with a couple of blasts. I mean, the guy is absolutely on fire. Um, as far as the Yankees, Jay Happ isn't going to cut the mustard. Tanaka doesn't look quite himself anymore. Ottavino, I love, believe me, the Astros eat Ottavino for lunch all day. So I'm not as worried about the bats uh, of uh, or the pitching of the Yankees are our bats. I'm more worried about our pitching. I think all of us are. Uh, it might just not be our year. It might be, but it is going to be the absolute toughest road. One more thing to say, and then I'll let you guys go until after the game, is the fact that if we win today or if we win this series, the fact that with all of these injuries... Granky with the elbow, um, uh, you know, Verlander out for the season, losing Garrett Cole. Don't come back, Garrett, by the way. You know, it all that we've had to overcome with the cheating scandal, with a uh, new coach, everything, for us to be part of the ALCS in the last four teams is a testament. And if we don't get any further, I think this year is a win for us because we weren't part of the last 16. We weren't part of the last eight. We were part of the last four teams. And Altuve did promise we'd get to the World Series. So let's see what happens. Anyway, I will catch you guys after the, uh, after the game and take care.